Here's a video on part one of the basics of finance. The production values aren't great. Part two will be a little bit better. The basic problem of finance is to distinguish between two things. Future value, the money you will have if you save and invest, compared to the present value, the money that you have now that you're thinking about saving or investing. Future value and present value. The future value, if I put money in the bank today, what will it be worth later? Well, that depends on how much you're thinking about putting in the bank, how long you're going to keep it there, and at what interest rate. The formula looks like this. Future value is equal to present value times the quantity 1 plus r to the power n, where present value is the money you have today that you're going to save or invest, n is the number of years, r is the interest rate. The future value, pv times 1 plus r to the n. Let's say the present value is $100. That's what you have now, this year. You're going to put it in the bank for one year, so n equals 1, and the interest rate is 5%, or 0 0.05. Using the formula, we find out that the future value a year away is 105. In other words, your $100 this year, what you have in the present, is going to be worth 105 in the future because FV1, the future value after one year, is equal to 100 times 1 plus 0.05 to the power of 1, which is 100 times a dollar and 5, 105 dollars. What if it's two years? If it's two years, then your same $100, the present value is the $100 you have now. What's different is the future value. Keep it in the bank for two years, and it's going to be worth 100 times 1.05 squared. 105 times 105 is another way to look at it. After one year, your $100 has turned into $105. After another year, that 105 is worth 1.05 more because you earn 5% interest on it. Either way you calculate it, you get $110.25. So keep in the bank for one year at 5%, your 100 turns into 105. Keep that 105 in the bank for another year, it'll be worth 110.25. So the future value after two years is 110.25. What if the interest rate was zero? Well, if the interest rate is zero, as you might figure intuitively, the present value and the future value are going to be the same. If the interest rate is zero, the future value after one year is 100 times 1 plus zero. 100 times 1 to the first, $100. How about five years? Well, guess what? If the interest rate is zero, your $100 is just going to sit in the bank. The future value after five years will be 100 times 1 to the fifth power, which is still $100. So that should make sense as a limiting case. When the interest rate is zero, future value and present value are the same, no matter how many years you keep it there. Another interesting case, not a limiting case, but an unusual case, what if the interest rate is 100%? Well, the formula in green still does it for you. If the interest rate is 100%, we express that as 1.0. If you put in the bank for one year, the future value after one year, FV1, is 100 times 1 plus 1 to the first, which is 100 times 2, which is $200. Intuitively makes sense. At 100% interest, the value of your money doubles. $100 this year will be worth $200 next year. What if you leave it in the bank for two years? FV2, in green, is equal to 100 times 1 plus 1 squared. 100 times 2 squared, 100 times 4, $400. So just note how the formula works, as it should. In two years, at 100% interest, compounded, your $100 that you have in the present is worth 400 What if we go in between? Instead of 0% interest or 100% interest, what if the interest rate is 10% or 0 0.1? And what if n is 10, 10 years? Well, use the formula. The future value after 10 years will be your original $100 times 1.1 to the 10th power. Got a good calculator? You can figure it out. Or pencil, paper, and a lot of time.